Wagyu Gaming. Hey there, broskies. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So, Wagyu here and back with another Idola Fantasy Star Saga video. Wow, that was a mouthful. But anyway, so today we're going to be talking about the highest stage of the current limited time quest, so which is Stella's Summer Memory. And we're going to be trying to clear it. And alongside, we're going to be doing a bit of reroll guide and unit reviews. Since, you know, I didn't want to do a unit review as soon as the game opened since I felt like I needed to experience the units first before I actually started making reviews out of them. But anyway, without further ado, let's go. So I'll show you guys my lineup. So this is my Chaos lineup. It's not well developed, so the main unit I'm using here is Anna Marie and Kilion. So Kilion isn't that good, but you know, he's useful. So my Law unit is more developed as far as you can see. So you know, my Stella is level 80, rank 80, my Summer Stella and my Normal Stella is rank 52, so they're both pretty good. And my Normal Stella is wearing the event, what do you call this? Spirit? Soul? I forgot the term, but anyway, so my Normal Stella is wearing that. So anyway, without further ado, let's begin with this stage. This is the hardest stage of the current event. So let's try it out. So some disclaimer, um, I'm not 100% sure to clear this stage yet uh, maybe around 70 percent so yeah so i'll do a bit of reroll guide as well and a bit of spoilers um, summer stella is actually one of the best units in game alongside the normal stella so they're going to be some of the units you're going to be aiming for plus there's only a limited amount of five star units still in game so you'll have to there'll be you know any five star unit you'll get is pretty good So yeah, that's Summer Stella for you. So she's, she attacks and heals at the same time. I think that was her ultimate. Yeah, I like the animation for the Summer Stella, as you can see. Yeah, so we're doing pretty well right now. So this is my Chaos team you're seeing right now. It needs a bit more, like I feel like I need I can develop it more. One, two, three, four. So this is an auto by the way, so I think I can clear it much easier if I play it in normal. Like I mean play it normally, like manually I mean. But yeah. We'll do it in auto so you know you guys are more confident that we can actually do it. Since you know if you play it in manual it only makes your team a, a whole lot better although it takes more time. So this is in no way a fast clear as far as you can see. This is in fact a slower clear. With my B plus ranking I'm trying to get it to A um, by leveling my units up. Oh Popoporin -po died. Oh that was hard to read. But yeah, he, she's actually one of the better buffers and, you know, four-star supports that are currently available in-game. Nice, they, they have the defense down. They have really high defense. Plus the power-up from Anna Marie. If you, if you guys were wondering um, how I got the majority of my units, it was through the free 10-plus um, pulls that we get and alongside clearing the story so I think I'm in chapter 5 right now so yeah, I rushed through the story since I actually played this game during its um, CBT a few months back ooh my normal Stella died can we beat this? yeah I think we can so Duncan died oh Anna Marie is still alive that's good uh, the boss has a defense down now. So yeah, some spoilers, Anna Marie and Stella are some of the units you'll be aiming for since there's only a very limited amount of 5 stars currently in game. So yeah, my Stella is pretty good, pretty tough. Okay, she's, she's going to heal herself and Anna Marie comes out. 
7,000 life left. So as far as I mentioned, this is not a 100% clear yet. I don't find this easy, although I can do it. I think I have a 70% success rate. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we actually were able to do this, even with just Stella left. So yeah, that's it for this part. And anyway, so to progress further easier in this game, it's basically you need to use your experience stones. I forgot the name. Man, this game is very new to me. I have to get familiarized with all the terms that this game has. But anyway, we'll talk about it. So, who should you reroll for? So personally, this is my choice. I'm not going to be giving you too many options since, you know, as, I, as I've mentioned, there's only very limited units in game right now. So, if you were to pick one of these banners right now, sorry about the loading time. One of the issues right now in game is the really slow loading times. You need to pick this banner, okay? So with all your free 10 plus pulls and all your free currency, pick this banner and try to get Stella, okay? She's your main priority here. I think I got a few Stellas extra too, so I think I had too much of Stella. But yeah, your priority here is Stella. And alongside this, you can actually get the normal Stella as well. She's actually also pretty good. So that's another unit you can aim for since you can use them both together in one team, okay? So take note of that. Both Stellas, the normal one and the summer one, can be used in one team. There's a free Stella that you can get if you purchase the in-game currency. If you buy, if you spend like from the top-up bonus, you can see here, I've actually already gotten it since, you know, it was only like $1, like 0.99 cents even. So for any currency you spend for, for any amount, you can actually get this bonus, okay? So yeah, I highly suggest that you get that. It's not that expensive and it's going to be worth it. It's going to help you progress so much faster in game. And alongside this, another unit you can aim for is Anna Marie or any of the five star units actually. But since we do have this um, summer banner right now, I highly suggest just pulling for this so I won't confuse you guys. But other options you can get are of course any of the five star units from this banner. Although it's a paid currency only, so the option you have is this one or this one okay so yeah any of the five star units is going to be pretty good for your team and so yeah that's it for the who you should reroll for I highly suggest get Stella both the Stellas will be pretty good for your team and they're always going to be useful and I'll show you guys my team so you guys get to see how I was able to beat the highest difficulty stage as of now and alongside my current PvP position so where's the team is it in set up? So how did I progress fast? So to progress fast in game, you really need to enhance your character. So I was able to reach a high level so fast since I got a lot of the free EXP books. I forgot the name. Oh, I can't really level her up. So let's use this one. So yeah, I use a lot of these. Killion. How do you, what do you call these? forgot the name of these books but yeah you need to use these books in order to progress faster in game and they'll take you to a whole much a whole nother level it helps you level up faster so yeah so my team let me show you my team um, in order for you to understand how I was able to beat that so this is my team um, as I mentioned Stella is my main unit right now so this is my Stella she's actually max breakthrough as I mentioned and that's because I got lucky in all the pulls that I did. So she's also max level 80. And I don't have the other two units by the way. So quite unlucky. But yeah, still pretty good. So she's my main unit. Alongside that, my normal Stella is currently two, has two breakthroughs as you can see here. Okay. So quite good as well. And these are the items they're using. So they're five star items. So for the gacha system, you can actually get both the item and the unit at the same time. So yeah. For this one, I'm just using the free uh, sim soul. Yeah, as I mentioned, so a symbol. I mean, yeah. So soul symbol. So I've actually I'm actually using the free one. And so for my chaos team, the rest of my um, law team isn't really well developed and are very replaceable. Whenever I'm going to get better units in the near future. So alongside this, my chaos team is this one. So Anna Marie has really nothing on her. Okay, so just normal Anna Marie and normal items and normal Killion. I got I got him from my first reroll when you start the game out. And like Kaon and Sandra are just normal units. 
So yeah, that's how I was able to beat the highest stage. Oh, by the way, my rating is B+, and 57k, okay? So if you do have any questions, um, do let me know in the comment section below. I'd gladly answer them, and I'd gladly help you guys throughout the game. So basically, to recap, um, for the rerolling, your priority will be to get all the Stellas. Any of the Stellas will do. So the Summer Stella is actually better than the regular Stella, okay? And I believe so because let me show you guys the skills. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the skills. Hmm. Character zone. So this is the normal Stella. I've actually locked her. And so her skills are very useful. So restores HP for all friendly units alongside damage. And so she also has a buff, increase a friendly unit's attack by 22% for 2 turns alongside the defense. And so she also has Twinkle Blaster which attacks the enemy twice when the elemental value of water reaches 5. And of course Mono Lands, I think this is her normal attack. Okay, so alongside this, the other Stella, where's my Beach Stella? As you can see, I still have 2 more dupes for the Beach Stella and that's pretty unlucky. But anyway, I'm still glad I still got her. So, very similar skills. Okay, so although this is a team-wide restore HP right now, and so yeah, very similar skills. So any of the Stellas will do, but I highly suggest that you roll for the um, Summer Stella banner, okay? So yeah, I guess that's it for this video, and if you do have any questions, as always, do let me know in the comment section below, I'd gladly answer it. And I'm always here for you guys, so yeah, please do leave a comment, I'll help, I'll reply to you as soon as I can, and as much as I can, so yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you in the next video.